2020 hasn't really started out the way any of us thought. With strict lockdowns in place, there was very little that we could do as we worked to stop the spread of COVID-19. Despite the short-term inconvenience, it is pretty cool to see everyone come together like that. Of course, we wanted to go camping, but with the backcountry closed, we were limited to jumping in a canoe and paddling our local waters. What's going on guys? We are out here on a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm out here with, you guys know, good buddy Tosser, co-host of Under the Yoke. And we're out here for a paddle. Where we're paddling to, we don't exactly know yet. Uh, undetermined. Undetermined. <laughs> we are setting off in Etobicoke, making our way along the shoreline of Lake Ontario, trying to get as far as we possibly can out west. And so we're gonna be paddling hopefully making it to Hamilton. That's the goal. The goal is Hamilton. We're gonna be fishing along the way and uh, we might make a couple pit stops, like maybe check out Port Credit and see what the Starbs is saying out there. <laughs> Grab a latte. But uh, yeah, just going for a Southern Ontario adventure on this fine Sunday morning. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. <laughs> Here you go. All right. This is gonna be so jokes, man. It's true. We're gonna be crazy. Yeah. So I, I guess like the uh, the question is, how close are we staying to shore? And like, like are we gonna? We should. I I personally think we should try and cut out bays. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down to take appropriate cuts. Yeah. So we're out in the first little bay here and we're eyeing our direction, which is somewhere over there. Impossible. We can't see where we're actually headed. It's so far away. I'm really interested to see like landmarks along the way because like you know, you know places from shore, yeah. but to like see them from Lake Ontario is going to be pretty funny. Yeah, dude, get a line out. I'm not rigged right now. You miss 100% of the fish you don't cast for. Wow. This is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at them all. This is really cool footage. Oh, oh. Is this Nat Geo? <gasps> How is going on? I don't know, man. This is crazy. <laughs> like, There's so many. Yo, this is insane. The shoreline that we were passing right now is just covered in building materials. Looks like they destroyed a building and built a shoreline out of it. 
scoring for kilometers. Yeah, we've, we've literally been piling along this for what feels like a couple kilometers now. Look at that shelf. Crazy. Like, it would be like, if you have my glasses, I, I would say it's possible. Yeah, it'd be super annoying, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. So many birds. <laughs> this boat just totally not see this point. Yeah. It was so close. Maybe the point got extended. They, no, dis well, they destroyed another it. building and then like extended the point but forgot to update the map. Yeah. Like, I have no idea, dude. Oh. Oh, come on, man. Oh, oh. He's hunting, he's hunting. Oh, <laughs> Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't get anything. Oh, there we go. <laughs> He's probably about as hungry as we are right now. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool to scuba dive around here. It would be. It's like, what's this panel off here? Yo, I feel like we should... Oh, my land. Yo, we have to go in there. Yo, 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 yo. At least poke your head in. Wow, bro. In the belly of the beast. Yo, this is... Oh, oh man. We're, it's like almost at the widest section of the canoe. Yo, this is crazy, man. Yo, I, I, I'm getting some haunted ghost vibes. Yeah? Yeah, yo. I'm... Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> Picking up on some haunted yeah, ghost yeah, vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting out of here. It says savage right here. <laughs> Northern scavenger. <laughs> A little peek inside the ship. This is crazy. Yo, this is really trippy, man. Yeah, I know. It's like an eerie feeling, eh? Yeah, very. Freaking awesome. So crazy, eh? We are just coming into our first of three major rivers that we're going to be crossing on our big expedition across Lake Ontario here. Across Lake Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the key features about this river are that it features a Starbucks. And the boys are hungry. <laughs> I guess we don't want to get out in the water, right? So we uh, we got all of our dehydrated food ready before this trip, and uh, we just packed it all in nice containers. Um, that's what you have to do out in the backcountry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what do we have in there? Some so breakfast got, sandies? Yeah, yeah, so we got some breakfast sandies, and I got some chocolate croissants heated up. Oh my god. And we got two coffees. That's it. Probably one of the best backcountry meals I've had. <laughs> there you go. So, I'm excited to eat. Oh, yo. <laughs> yo, I just portaged over quick. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Alright, so it's 9.18 in the morning and we are in port credit. We fueled up did a quick washroom break, and now we're gonna get back out there, battle the big open water as we make our way closer to Hamilton. We're only eight kilometers in so far, so we still have, we still have at least 40 more kilometers to go, but we're both like a couple optimistic dudes here that think we're still gonna make it there, so we'll just, uh, we'll see what time it is by the time we get there. <laughs> They're 
You're actually motoring with this tailwind. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like being right here when the sun rose would have been crazy. Yeah, we would literally would have had to like get up at three. Yeah. Beautiful spruce forest coming up here on the right. <laughs> That's old growth, I think, too. Yeah. <laughs> How far are we from uh, Oakville? You think? Uh, we're probably like, we're probably like right on the edge of Oakville. But yeah, I don't know. Like, we're probably like, honestly, within 5k of Oakville. Yeah. Wow, the sounds and smell of mother nature. Yeah, I'd be very curious to know how old that like smokestack is. Like if you cut it down and count the rings. <laughs> <laughs> it, you know, it, it actually is pretty interesting to see though. It's been really cool, Yeah, the whole way. Like it's, it's interesting to, to see like industrial and then you see parks right beside and then you see it residential. And it's just like, wow, it gives you a different perspective. It does. Yo, it's even cool seeing parks that we know of just from a different angle. Yeah. You're always looking out at the water. Yeah. Which, there is nothing out here. Yeah. <laughs> you look the other way, you can't see a thing until you get to downtown Toronto. Which is way in the distance over there. All right, so we've come across some piers that we need to get by. And so that was our first one and it got a little sketchy trying to paddle around them. So we actually found someone that let us pass on this side. But now that we're getting to the next one, this one we weren't allowed to cross, but a nice gentleman pointed out that there's a park here with a trail. He says that this was, this portage is probably gonna be about like three football fields, but we feel like everyone who isn't carrying a canoe says that it's gonna be shorter than it actually is. So, we're suspecting it to be at least five football fields. And so, yeah, we're not gonna waste any time here. We're just packing up, trying to make it our uh, kit as tight as possible. And then it's time to get under the oak. <laughs> We can probably just bomb it over, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you can get in there if you want. Yo, like, this has opened my eyes to, like, how much I, I would enjoy even... I would enjoy even like taking my canoe out to another urban place just to explore. Like, you know what I mean? Like, For just, sure. It, it's actually pretty interesting to see everything. This has been really cool. I just can't believe the watercolor, man. It's clear. It's like perfectly clear. The like turquoise. Look at that. How's that the waterfall? That's sick. Sixteen Mile Creek, second major river crossing on our Lake Ontario adventure today. Probably some good restaurants up there that we're gonna miss out on. Yeah. Would have been jokes to make a stop at each one. Each river? At each river. Yeah. I think that I would have made that idea back when I thought that we, it was still possible 
to bike home after all of this. <laughs> Dude, what? I like how we both texted each other after sleeping on that, being like, yo, definitely bad idea, abort. <laughs> abort any idea. Yo, we would have had bikes in here. <laughs> Do you think it's kosher to just fire up a fire on that shore over there? We just pull over and because we're wilder like we're traveling by canoe right now, it's a rite of passage. Dude, that should be allowed. That should be a natural thing. If you are traveling by canoe, you are allowed to have a fire <laughs> along the shorelines. These must be wakes from that boat, eh? Crazy. You watch him fly in yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just as we were paddling past here, Tosser noticed that all these little holes are actually little bird's nests. They're flying in here. We'd love to see the maze that's inside there. Like, are they just individual holes, or do they pop in one hole, and then, like, they can come out another? Man, I think it's like a cave system in there. They have, like, a gaming room, a lounging room. Look at them. Oh my gosh. They're like jets. All right, so we were just arriving at our third major river, our third major river crossing on our Lake Ontario slog here. And we're entering downtown Bronte for potentially some burritos of sorts. Oh baby. <laughs> oh yeah. The boys are hungry. We've been out here paddling for hours. Didn't have a huge lunch. Just a granola bar, really. Didn't have lunch. <laughs> Didn't really have lunch. So the boys are jonesing for some burritos. Other news, we may have found out that Burlington is not as far as we thought. We thought we had another like 15, 20 K from here. Turns out it might actually be only 10 K or so. So that's pretty exciting. So. We're just gonna paddle in here and go find some food. Hello. Oh my god, dude. My hip flexion. <laughs> she tight? Oh my god. She tight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's real tight, dude. I'm gonna hand you the camera after. Oh my god. A sketch. <laughs> All right, so we found ourselves a little place where we could uh, rest up our boat for now while we go and grab food in downtown Bronte. Time to go find some eats. Yo, we just got on land right in the Part of the mish today. Going into soaps. A little food. What's our backcountry lunch for the day? Well, I'm, um, uh, I went with the pulled pork and lettuce wrap, slightly chilled. Hints of earth and robust flavors of smoke. It's the first thought I got with that. Um, <laughs> got some potato wedges. It's like Renault Algonquin. It's perfect. Just like Algonquin. Just like Algonquin. Yum. It got windier. Yeah, for sure. Like, a lot windier. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we're still okay. Same. <laughs> we poke our heads out, we're like, yo, come pick us up in front <laughs> Yo, I'm starting to see white caps, bro.
Definitely pretty clutch staying close to shore right now. So the waves have picked up a lot out here. Look at these! Holy <laughs> We're riding these on a 45. Yeah, so the waves have picked up a lot out here and it's just not really safe for us to be out here. We're sticking close to shore for now, but not really safe for us to be out here without like proper like dry gear. We made it pretty close to our goal. What did you say, like four or five kilometers out? I think we're about 5K from Burlington. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Yo, act fast, bro. Go as hard as you can. <laughs> That was crazy. Holy smokes. So as you might be able to see behind us, there are a lot of white caps out there now. And uh, it was getting pretty sketchy out there in the boat. Major change in conditions from before lunch. Like just paddling out the bay towards uh, the lake, it was... Uh, looks like it's gonna rain too here. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. It also looks like we might have some weather in store. At least on the clouds over there. So I think we, we're, we're calling this at a good time. Yeah. You can see Toronto way in the distance. Yo, what would you say your favorite part was of the day? What surprised you the, the most? The portage. The portage. <laughs> The Petro Canada Portage. Petro Canada Portage. Uh, one thing that surprised me is actually how beautiful, how much I enjoyed it. I would yeah. say that, like I, I had no expectations, but like it was pretty cool, giving you a different perspective, looking from the lake in. Saw some amazing houses. Saw how the you know the one percent live, but then you know we saw some industrial. Like it was just it was cool. A little mix of everything. A little mix of everything. So I like that. And, uh, Still a surprising amount of nature along the way. Yeah, we saw those birds. <laughs> what <laughs> that else? That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think we were both like pretty surprised at how much we actually enjoyed that paddle today. Yeah. It started off as just like a, a challenge. How far could we possibly paddle on Lake Ontario? And I, I will say though, if we were prepared for the two mishaps with the two piers going out and the weather cooperated, I think we could have made this like to Hamilton. Like, Definitely. for sure. Like, I, I have no doubt in my mind. There's a couple learning curves on this route, but yeah. I, think, uh, I think we learned those learning curves and now we'd be better off next time. But I don't think either of us are planning on doing this now that the backcountry might be opening up. So, <laughs> so sorry, Lake Ontario. It's been swell. <laughs>